contented life without any constant struggles. Hello guys, this is Shindan and today's share is a reminder to all of us that we are capable of living an unwanted life without any constant struggles. This is just really a share guys from my own life experiences, from my own reading and I am sharing this with you. How I did survive with all the pain of my body, I still live my best life even I am struggling. How I am sharing this with you, these tools I am sharing with you every day. I encourage myself every day through my readings. I have to comfort myself every day through my reading. I have to see positive things with myself even I am in pain just through my reading. And I am sharing it with you every day. Therefore, I have to blog every day, sharing with you some thoughts. I don't like to go in waste. What I have read, what I have learned, I am sharing it with you in hope it can help you too. Life has never been easy for me and there, people, and there are people too that they are struggling. Life has never been easy. It is a struggle when we are going. To live in this life journey, it is a part of our life journey to struggle. But we can all live an unwanted life without any constant struggles if you believe and trust in God. Simply have faith in Him. Again, I am not talking about religion. I am talking that I live through the Holy Spirit using them as a tool in my life to live my best life. Even I am struggling, even I have pain, I have struggled every day. Guys, I have to find my way out when I am struggling. I have to find my way of comfort when I am in pain. I have to pay attention of my mindset. What is my mindset is telling me? What are my thoughts? Then to live with that, guys, I have to do my reading. I have to comfort myself what I have read. And I am using the scripture day after day, reading the scripture to help me keep on going in this life journey. It is hard enough that you're living in pain every day, but I can make it throughout the day when I have the word of God. Living in our human body, guys, it is not just about eating healthy food. I did that too. Living in a vegetarian lifestyle to stay healthy, to stay in faith. But to comfort myself that I am in pain. I have to feed my mind too. You are not going only to feed your body. You have to feed your mind too with good thoughts, with good positive affirmation. Feeding our mind with good thoughts is a must to do every day as well. The same with the food we are taking in our body. We're going to eat healthy food. We're going to eat the best food in order for us to get the energy to keep on going and it is the same with our mindset it is the same with our thoughts we cannot live our best life if we're not going to feed these two things our body and our mind must be fed every day feeding them with good thoughts feeding them with good affirmation feeding them with the words from the holy spirit it is the same with our body. We have to drink, we have to eat, we have to go to the toilet. We have to feel comfortable with ourselves in order to feel good with our life. So guys, therefore, 
to live my best life. I am reading, I am eating vegetarian food, I am doing my best to feed myself. And I am sharing this with you. I hope I can inspire too because life has never been easy. It is just about a mindset work that we are going to work on with ourselves, acknowledging ourselves how valuable we are. You are valuable enough. You are capable of doing great things. But start with your simple, positive mindset. Guys, believe me, it's really very difficult to start a positive mental attitude when you don't have belief and faith in God. Mostly of us believe in God, right? But you have to practice it. It's not just about believing that there is God. You have to practice it. You have to put Him into your life. You have to invite Him into your life every day, knowing that God is in control with your life, knowing that He can do all things for your life, for your own good, knowing that He will not forsake you, knowing that God is love. He is the creator of the universe. He created you amazingly great, amazingly beautiful, amazingly talented. All you have to do is to acknowledge the good things He has in store for you. Remember always, wherever you are, God is with you all the time. When I am in trouble, guys, I have to comfort myself that I am not alone. I am unwanted to live my best life, but we are the one who are going to take actions with ourselves. We are the one who is going to do the best we can do in order to live our best life. Yes, the tools are there, the scripture are there, but you are the one who is going to take action to read the scripture and to apply it in your life. Guys, really, I know this is not easy, but please do not take it for granted. You have to acknowledge yourself every day, what you are good at, why you are breathing, why you are struggling right now because you are not doing the best you can do with yourself. Of course, we can say, I did my best already. But ask question to yourself, is that best enough? Always acknowledge that what is written in the scripture, you are unwanted to live your best life. And please sit aside those constant trouble you are facing. Take it as a part of our life journey. It is there for you to grow. It is there for you to learn. It is there for you to keep on going. Life, guys, is so boring without any challenges. Life can be dull if there's no challenges. Therefore, God put Every challenge in our life in order for us to grow, in order for us to learn, in order for us to trust Him that He is in control and is doing His best to each and every one of us. All we can do, start your day with being grateful with all that you have. Start your day with being grateful that you are breathing, you are awake. He awakens you every morning. Don't take it for granted. Every day is a new day. Every day is a great thing to be grateful for that we are alive. We can be dead the next day without even knowing. So that is a great deal, guys, to be grateful in every breath you are taking every morning. To be grateful that you're able to stand up from the bed every morning. So sit aside those constant struggles. 
struggles is a part of our life journey. All we can do is thank Him for the struggles. Thank Him for the challenges. Thank Him for all the trials you have been through. And ask Him to give you the strength, to give you the courage, to give you the right mindset to handle everything according to His way and not your way. We can all make it when we acknowledge Him, thank Him for all these things and asking Him to be with us every step of the way. That is the one I am doing every day. God, lead me your way today. Your way will be my way and I am asking you to come in into my heart today. Let me act through your blessing. Let me act the kind of goodness for myself and for others. God, make me a blessing to others. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my good health. Thank you that I am healed. So guys, so many things we can be grateful for. I am sharing it with you only the way how I am grateful every morning. The way I am very grateful and thankful every morning that I was able to come up from the bed. I am thankful that he breathed his life onto me every day. So much things we can be grateful in this life. Therefore, we must understand and acknowledge that we are all unwanted to live our best life and that constant struggles must be set aside and just be grateful for all of that. This is Yundel. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for supporting me here in my life journey. I am very grateful to each and every one of you. Remember, you are a special one person. There's no other like you. You are born unwanted. So be it. I love you all. Bye-bye.